just got back from hunting thicket. Shopping bags, PD5, bitches. Filters call, got a pickup thickens. Look at me, I'm a geek, tripping. Future waves, I will be copping. Come check with me, you know why I got it. Figure what, small from legends. Dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was do. And you know why I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy that was doing today. We're doing another action figure review. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Toys R Us exclusive NECA Toys Endoskeleton Assault 2 pack from the Robocop vs. Terminator line. These figures are sick, man. I got this at Elizabeth, New Jersey's Toys R Us. We was out there in IKEA buying some furniture for the apartment. And um they had a, a home bargains, I think it was, or something that, that carries toys, but I wasn't able to get in there. And they had a huge Toys R Us, and I went in there, and they were fully stocked with everything, except Marvel Legends. They didn't really have nothing Marvel Legends-wise. So now I know there's somebody over there taking all of them joints. Um, yeah, man, this figure's, these figures are so dope, man. Nicely articulated, very detailed. The person, whoever, whoever sculpted this, man, they put in... A lot of work. I'm pretty sure that they made this is a repaint from a re, a, re, a previous release. I'm not sure. I, I might have missed it from the Terminator line. Uh, but but from what from a first time for me seeing these, these joints are sick, man. These joints are really sick, and I had to pick up the Robocop also. They had both versions of Robocop, but I only had enough to get one. So maybe down the line. I, I'll run back to Toys R Us and get the, the Battle Damage one. But here's the packaging. It has a big clamshell window. Got the Terminator. This is versus the Terminator. Big window there with this Toys R Us uh, sticker. It says Endoskeleton 2 pack. Nothing on the side. The design of the box is like um, the Super NES cartridge. And then, here you go right here if you want to read it. It says, in the crumbling ruins of the, of, the, of a world under siege, man, machine, meat, man, machine, man, as legendary cyborgs clash to decide the fate of the earth. I remember this game. This game was pretty dope. It was hard, too. Shit wasn't easy. I, I remember I learned to cheat for Ed 209, how to beat him. But that's the packaging right there. Um, and here goes the figures again in all their glory. One comes in like a... Red, orange, brownish color. Another one is like purplish, blue, and, and some white. Or the sky blue. These things are really nice, man. They're really detailed. They're both the same figure. Both the same figure from what I can tell. No differences. But, um, they look good. I like them. Look at those feet. Nice feet. The, the, the heel. What I like is the hydraulics. Look, when you open the legs, see the hydraulics expand and close up. That's cool. Very reminiscent of um, Mecha Hulk that Toy Biz made a long time ago. Very nice looking figure. So they both have the same articulation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the one I love the best, which is the blue one. So I'm gonna put the red one aside real soon, but real soon. But I want you guys to see. It's really not much of a difference. It's nicely sculpted. Looking real good, man. These things look sick. Only thing I'm missing only thing I'm mad about is the my orange my orange um endoskeleton the gun came a little crooked at the at the nozzle, but it's all good. This figure is sick, man. These are things that are looking real good. Look at this gun. Color scheme is the way they looked in the video game for Genesis or SNES. <clears throat> Very nice, man. This man, NECA is doing their thing. They open up here for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, see right here? That opens up. I don't know why. There's nothing there. Looks like something can be held there. Nothing here. I don't, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know, please. 
But these look sick, man. Very nicely detailed. They look pretty delicate. But they actually could take an ass whipping. Oh, I didn't notice they got screws. You know how much of a fan I'm not of figures that have screws in, in the back. I hate that, but it's all good. For this for this figure, I'll take it because it's so nicely detailed. As far as articulation goes, they both look up a bit, look down a bit. The head goes side to side. They have hinged shoulders, biceps swivel. Single joint and elbow, you gotta be careful to see because the hydraulic came out. So now I gotta pop that back in. It won't go. <laughs> there we go. Whoop, whoop. No wrist swivel. I mean, wrist swivel, that's it. But no, it's not hinged. So it stays. They have a, a diaphragm joint rolling off for, for ab crunch, but it does go side to side. The legs go out a lot. Um. No upper thigh swivel, single jointed knee, and ankle swivel, and toe articulation. For what we get, man, it's not bad. These things are highly detailed and limited, limited because they're skeletons. I would have liked the oh, a hip swivel, but I think that would have messed up with the. That would have definitely messed with the the hydraulics. So to speak of the figure. I really do recommend that if you enter this. And if you missed out on the previous release. I'm still not sure if there was one. But I would do. I would get it anyway. Regardless of the fact. It was one of the games I liked to play as a kid. This game was sick. It was fun. I never ended it though. It was hard. It was pretty hard for me. I think it was one of those games that you had to play hard in order to be able to end it. Like if you played it on easy, it will, it will cut you off at a certain area of the of the game. But um, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty pretty positive. But anyway, that's the review. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment. Pick these bad boys up. These things are nice, and for the price point, it's not bad at all. I think it was twenty five dollars for both of these. That's really good. So you won't be disappointed with these. Besides, the guns are sick, and they probably look good if you repaint them black. And give them to some Marvel Legend characters. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like my Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description below. And holler at me in general, man. You already know. It's your boy Devil's Dude. And we out. One.